carjackers and other resource predators are not looking for fights, they're looking for victims. Want to take your knowledge beyond the narrated videos? Join us on Active Self Protection Extra and subscribe for multiple videos every week to help you get better in your defensive skills. Hi everyone, this is John with today's Active Self Protection lesson out of Brazil. This one happened just this week and it is a female Brazilian police officer who is the victim or the intended victim of an attempted carjacking. We're gonna learn important lessons here about awareness, particularly in transitional spaces with your vehicle. We're gonna talk about keeping your tools on you and about using force efficiently and effectively and in the moment. Early in the morning and this female officer who's in the car is leaving for work. And what you're gonna see here is she's gonna to try to pull out of the driveway and you can see the three guys near the top of the screen that are trying to start to case her. Well, everything's kinda of okay for the minute, but then the one's gonna push a gun on her and bang, there goes the first shot. They start running off and we're gonna see several shots come from her driver's side window as well. They have run off and if you go, everything that I have, there's just a little bit in the raw that I've linked in the description, but what I've heard is one of the goblins did not make it the other two scurried off so we're gonna see here kind of get out now and kind of look around see what the heck's going on and that's where this one ends I want to think about some significant lessons out of this one the first one is all about awareness you know when you're in a transitional space especially a stop vehicle you're coming out of your driveway these are gated driveways whatever you got to see what's going on around you and this woman did so she saw that threat coming what was going on in front of her is that guy came and started pulling a gun on her to try to steal her car number two she had her tools on her she wasn't just sitting there and aware of what's going on she had her firearm on her person and so she gets it out and now where are you gonna go first? So you have multiple threats here, you gotta deal with the first threat first, and she deals with the one at the passenger window. Now for a right-handed person, you gotta get some understanding of how to take that first shot and then get around to the other threat. Now you notice that other threat here, his, he is running, but he's looking back at her and pointing his gun at her. So is he a threat? Does he need to be shot? Yes, he is, and yes, he does. Perfectly acceptable for her to do that, and that's where we see that flash there. Now I do wanna think, as somebody who defends themselves, you really should take a class that focuses on using your firearm effectively from your car because getting over to those windows, leaning left and leaning right for righties and for lefties is incredibly important. Now this last shot comes out here and some people might question that, but we can't see exactly what she was seeing on the other side of the camera. She might have seen a continuing threat. That guy might have still been pointing his gun at her or even shooting at her. We can't tell. But we can say that she has done an excellent job, so I'm gonna assume that that was a justified shot as well, especially in the moment. Now, follow-up actions are important here. What are you gonna do in that moment? She's taking multiple shots. We got a goblin that's going to be, you know, uh, taking the room temperature challenge somewhere in the neighborhood here. My suggestion is get into a safe place, whether that's in your car and away from there or back inside and close the door or whatever. Call 911, get some help on the way. This off-duty officer did a fantastic job, had her tools on her, she was aware, had the skills to use them, drove the goblins off and covered her asp.